Father God, Father Lord, for blessing us with a new day and a new life, God. It's just so awesome to wake up a new morning, Father, and just be here with each other, God. It's just so awesome that we just give our money to you, God. Not knowing where it goes, actually knowing where it goes, Father, to, to send out missions, God. And I just pray for the Hong Kong, God. It's just so amazing that we're going to be able to plant a mission team over there, God. Uh, that, that'll be the end of, of the... Of the mission teams, God, but we're still in Operation Eagle, Father, and, and, and I pray that we can we can just give our hearts to you, Father. Thank you for just loving us every day more and more, God. I pray that we can love you, Father, just as much as you love us, God. You're so amazing, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. All right, everybody, prepare our hearts for a contribution. We're going to be sitting in I Feel Good in your song it's 714. <clears throat> well, I feel good, good, good. I feel good, oh yes, my Lord. Because it's something about the Spirit of Jesus that makes me feel good, good. Thank you. 
there's certain, I, the way I would treat God is where I just go to him, like when I needed something, like, oh, damn. All right, I don't know about this place, this guy, like, help me out here, pray I can pass, you know. And, or maybe pray for my food, because you guys know I love to eat. And, and all the times I'll just pray for things I would need or want. And maybe I'll go to him to have my quiet time when it's convenient to me. And I took it a step back from my life and realized I'm treating my dad this morning. I'd only go to him when I needed something, or maybe when it's convenient at the time. Maybe I want him to make sure that mom got the stuff so she go make the food I want. Come on. But <laughs> not really treating him with the same love or care, not knowing how. I always appreciated what he did for me, being able to make sure I have the stuff I needed. But how do I go about honoring him? How do I go about honoring God if I don't really have the already connection? Come on. Come on, Zion. Come on. Like here it says, this man, like the man here, he's talking like, he has to leave all the stuff he went out there and work for, for the one that comes after him. And that kind of sounds like a kid. And so, you know, not knowing what, uh, whether or not this kid would be wise with it or foolish with it, he still decides to give it. And it's not what God did for us. He Come made on. the world, he made everything in it, and he made it for us. And we know how humans are. I'm not sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes good. But he still gave it to us to see what we'll do with it. On, whether bro. we'll use it the right way, whether we'll just let it pass by us. Until on, that time it's all over. Here, when I, I sat down and think about it a wow. lot, these things like actually are encouraging me now and I wanted to go after it. Um, so I want to bring a little to my spiritual here. <laughs> Come on. There's Come a group that says that I want to encourage T on Keontae. Come on. Come on. The reason why they're building our fathers right now. But, <laughs> <laughs> but they're doing something that really helped me when I was younger. When I was in Kingdom Kids, there was a brother named Josh and Johnny. Come on, Come on, Josh. Come on, Josh. He helped raise me in a different way I couldn't like, understand it. Where he taught me all the things I needed to know as a kid, as about that, and about being, you know, disciple. And that's what they're kind of doing downstairs right now. They're all raising the kids, teaching them lessons, encouraging them to let them know. Yeah, there's stuff out there in the world, but you always have your family in the kids too. Come on. And I figured, I figured that that just helps raise them. You know, if you ever see someone going around and they're doing some things, like, why is this person not? Who's who's a disciple? Well, we're disciples, right? So go go find them, go bring them up. You know, you gotta help bring them up. And say, hey, It showed me a middle ground. Instead of being like an older man and raised with some crazy kid like me, <laughs> it was like a middle ground guy where it's like, no, life doesn't have to start being rough and then get rough when you're raising other kids rougher than you. But you're able to still help people. You're able to still accomplish goals that you want to do. I remember one time you mentioned you wanted to go to mission team way back then. Look at it now. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah. That showed me the faith that you need to have. And it doesn't come right away, but it takes time. As long as you strive for it. And I think all you guys here, you know, like you, you've been studying with Dylan. That was amazing. Amen. All these other brothers here are doing some incredible things for our teams, for the teams here too. Keep doing that. Because you're hoping that team is going through things right now. To really understand and have that back thought that, wow, people still do care for me. And there's still people I can go to where I'm having problems and rough things. So, all that takes is great love, honestly. Come on, bro. Yep.
And by seeing all the, like lately now, that how we relate to each other about certain areas of my character, realizing like, God, you saw this in my character, and I needed a God like him. He needed to go through the things that he went through so that he would be able to, be able to know the, all the lessons that he did to teach me. Right. And so, all those things, that he, like, he truly loved God to be able to, to be able to have the patience to wait that long to see the efforts and the stuff that he worked for. And to see that I, I, I've been baptized in them, now it's time to see that I'm still a foolish person who might do this wrong. I pass him down to somebody who wants to be wise to help other people be wise. <laughs> so, with that love, I want to, I want you guys to remember that having great love, by having to help raise people up, you're, doing, you're still doing something that God rewards you for. So, with that, I want to turn it over to my brother Dylan here. <laughs>
trusting you to be fruitful. God's trusting you to go out and share your faith and just be active, right? Yeah. Wow. But look what it also says in verse 11. In verse 11 it says, it says, I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. So when we go out and we share our faith, it's good for us. Come We're on. meant to do it because it's a, it satisfies our spiritual hunger. Yeah. Right. So really, I mean, without, being, without sharing our faith and getting our fruits and sharing our fruits, we're, we're just a normal disciple day by day. But that's why it's so good for us, because that's why we're so alive and joy and so active in the fellowship. Come on. Yeah. And also what it says in verse 14 is that it says, oh, bro. Mm -hmm. it says, you are my friend. If you do what I command, and it says, uh, basically it says, like really, if you're his friend, you should be able to do what he says. Yeah. But if yeah. you don't follow his command, I guess you're not really his friend. Come on. Wow. Uh, but at the same time, you know, it's like reading the Bible backwards, really. Hey, baby. So what's wow. awesome, is that, you know, I want you guys to remember this. Come on, Dylan. Bearing fruit is awesome. And it's fun, right? Bearing fruit is awesome. Bearing fruit is awesome. We awesome. should be part of the one to share our faith because that's what God is trusting us to do, really. Yeah. And really, it's just an example that I see is that, you know, like, my parents have baptized disciples everywhere. Back in the OC, the in the Empire, all the way in Southland, what's up? And even in Portland, Washington, D.C., Phoenix, Houston. And even all around the world, even in Houston, in Charlotte, yeah. Philadelphia, New York, Woo! Denver, Chile, London, and Manila. Woo! It's not just like you can't have to share the faith, but it's like it's going out to just bring in people who don't even know many different races and cultures, trying to make more people just like them. Yeah. Which really, that's what it's all about. And so what's awesome is that we're not just trying to just share faith and really be fruitful. We're trying to build the earth. Just like the everywhere they go. And so even though they have spiritual doppelgangers nearly in every one of our church movies. And so what's awesome is like me and myself, I've been in Portland, I've been in DC, and I've been in Phoenix, and now I'm in Southland. <laughs> so really, all we're trying to do in the team ministry is just trying to leave a person just like me, just like Joshua, just like Josiah, and just like Ethan. We're trying to leave a someone just like our own spiritual doppelganger. Right? And so when you share your faith, you really don't want to just go and get one person, just make that one person your doppelganger. You That's want to give everybody a chance to know what the love of God is. So we want to make multiple persons of ourselves, right? Yeah. And so what's awesome Come is on. that, really, I'm just so grateful that we've lived a full life in the kingdom. Yeah. Really, not many people get to do that, but I'm just so grateful to be here. And I want to urge you guys and inspire you guys. Don't just live a life and be surviving as just being a disciple. Hey, man. Yeah, come on. Hey, man. Give your best at finding the person that God created for you to impact, to impact for a Woo! Woo! Okay. So go for building the city and then let's move on to this earth. Come on. Come on. Timothy, our brother, says to fight even our dear friend. Come on. Send a fellow worker to after our sister and the archivist and our fellow soldier to the church that meets our home. Amen. Grace be to you and peace from our God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. So, in verse 4, I was always thanked by God, and I will always remember you in my prayers. So, because I hear you about your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your love for all the saints, I pray that you may be active in sharing your faith so that you will be full understanding and having in every good thing that we have in Christ Jesus. Says, and your love has given me great joy and encouragement because you, brother, have refreshed the hearts of the saints. Come on, Come on bro. And really, you know, Paul prayed for the entire church. He didn't yep. just pray for certain people. And really, here's the principle. The more you share, the more you realize how much God has done for you. Yeah. 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 And when you share, really, you get to know what more things that God has done for you. And it keeps you more grateful for God. Yeah. 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 You know, and his kingdom and his love for his disciples. And the people, then when you share with them, you tell them just how bad life is for God. But well, really, sharing our faith guards our hearts and keeps us grateful. Yeah. Really, and what's awesome is that even through all these different events that we have, like on the calendar, we have events that our leaders organize so we can all be fruitful, right? All these different awesome events. Like we have Tim Plan that some of the possible love. Oh, 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 oh. Really, it's just, it's just, you know, we also have in three weeks, we have our second annual event forum. How about that? Handing out and inviting people to these events. Because you don't want to just go to Debo, take a friend with you. Yeah, you want to go to the movies, take a friend with you. Yeah. Yeah. Don't just have fun, take a non Christian and have fun. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah
is my awesome brother Josiah. Woo! Yeah, I remember now after I was baptized, the one thing I want to do is baptize my best friend. But not only that, it's just the memories that me and him had together. I remember staying up late nights, I'm talking three, four in the morning, just laughing. I mean, it got to the point where I had my dad come into the room and stop. But at the same time, like, these are the two memories that we have together. Just playing sports, you know, eating a lot of food, just having great laughs together, just having great memories. But at the same time, God calls you to bear fruit that will last, that you will baptize, right? Come on. And he says, basically, he says, your double will be your best friend. And I know Josiah is one of my best friends that I have that I got to baptize. Amen. do a great job on our studies is because we want to make them that way they will last. Sure. Not only they're going to come into the, to the kingdom and struggle, but they're becoming the kingdom and they're just so grateful and honored just to be a part of God's kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. And really, just think about it. God's filling the earth so that they will stay faithful by the same time. He's filling someone who's going to love like you. And really, so to be disciples and disciple like you and be loyal and be loyal just like you. Yeah. Yeah. Really, it's someone who has every single quality that made God pick you and appoint you. Because he knows that you're going to display it on somebody else. Really, that's why Paul really just told his disciples in 1 Corinthians, you guys have the change there. In uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, it says, follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. Yeah. Right? Come on, he says, he was being fruitful, but why did God invent being fruitful? So that you'll always have a best friend next to you who knows what you need and knows what you have in you. Just really just oh, Come on, bro. Really, you and that person will be doing that whole world together. Twos, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, right. Yeah. So double the effort means it's double the more people, right? Yeah. And what's awesome is that I just want to go out to everybody who's been to me today, God, and just just know how grateful we are just to have you guys here. But the fact that hey. because you're here right now, somebody is obeying the scriptures. Yeah. Come on. And you don't even know. I really encourage you guys to do these studies. Because right now, someone else is going out sharing their faith and being fruitful and trying to fill the earth is because they're trying to make you maybe their next spiritual help. That's it. So really, the best thing is that God commands you are not just God's glory. Is that they're for you and for me. And I want to share one last scripture. It's in John 10, verse 10. Right. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. You know what? In verse 10 right here, it says... The thief comes only to steal and kill Woo! and destroy. Yeah. But I have come that they may have life and life to the full. And really, that's what it's all about. Come on. Living life to the full. Come on, bro. Now I encourage you guys, go find your spiritual doppelganger because that is life to the full. Thank you guys yeah, so much for letting us Also, 
the Avara sisters who helped Woo! me. Princeton and Joy Jordan. They did an incredible job of putting together a service with our team. I don't know about you guys, but this is a terrible world. Come on, bro. This is a terrible world. And I think, uh, you know, they call our young ones the millennials, but I think they're going to change the millennials. Yeah. Amen. All of you teams, I am so very proud of all of you. As I get old, I feel very comfortable that we have kids like you. Yeah. How about you guys? What, what were you doing at 16 years old? Yeah. 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 So you get up and talk about, you know, I just haven't had very good quiet times. I was like, I never even, I never had quiet times. I never picked up a Bible. I got slapped across the head a few, a few times. But uh, I'm just so in awe of God. Guys. And now we're going to close out in the best way. Not only did they lead us in the worship today, they're leading us by having a baptism. Here, maybe 2015 in the middle of June, 
And I didn't have any friends. I didn't know anybody. I didn't want to go to the church here. I didn't want to go do anything that involved with the church. But, I mean, of course, I was forced to go to one of these Bible talks. <laughs> and the only team there that I saw was maybe about four years younger than me about the same time. He was like, dude, let's hang out. And I was like, okay. So we were just in his backyard. And he was the very first person I ever hang out with when I first moved to South Lake. Oh, come on. Two very important questions for you. 
dumb question. So, do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that he came to deserve, he lived a sinless life, he died and resurrected in the third day? And what is your good confession? Jesus is Lord! You can now be baptized in the name of the Father, and in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. And your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. All your sins will be washed away. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And you can live a life as a true disciple. Come on. Come on. Hey Amen, guys. Well, we can please close our service by going outside to, to watch this amazing baptism. Please grab your stuff. It's going to be an amazing ordeal. Also, I want to lift up James Haynes for making the backdrop for the pictures tonight. We're going to take the backdrop outside so everybody can sign it before you leave.